So the Horizon 2020 program is like the, the framework research and innovation program by the European Union. And we're very proud uh, that our pr proposal, Caramba, um, got selected in a very competitive um, call from the EU um, for novel treatments in rare diseases. And this was an optimal fit um, for our efforts of bringing CAR T cell therapy to multiple myeloma. So we put up um, a European team of researchers and clinicians in this project that is called Caramba. And this includes four clinical centers, um, our center in Würzburg, Germany, then Milano, Italy, Lille in France, and Pamplona in Spain. So we believe that Caramba has the potential to make a significant impact and change the way that multiple myeloma is being treated in the future. Um, from the efficacy, so the anti-myeloma potency of the cell product, SLAMF7 CAR T cells, that we see in our preclinical models, um, we see that it can eliminate multiple myeloma in our laboratory systems. Um, and in these systems, it is much more potent than all the conventional treatments that are already approved. So if this holds true, then we believe this cell product, SLAMF7 CAR T cells, um, will have the ability to find its place in the treatment algorithm and um, allow us to work towards our ultimate goal, and this is finding a cure for multiple myeloma. So CAR T cell treatment is a new form of immune-based treatment for cancer that is very attractive because it's free from chemotherapy and is very potent in treating advanced malignancies. CAR, this is the scientific uh, term for chimeric antigen receptor, and this acts like a biosensor that we put in T cells, white blood cells, and it instructs these white blood cells to recognize a surface molecule that is expressed on these tumor cells. So the way this works is that we obtain white blood cells from the patient, take these white blood cells to the lab and equip them with this CAR, amplify the cells and then infuse them back to the patient. And then once they're back inside the patient's body, these CAR T cells are starting to look for, find and destroy tumor cells. So there is obviously a need to improve treatments for patients with multiple myeloma. And ultimately, there is a strong desire by researchers, clinicians, and patients to identify a curative treatment for multiple myeloma. And what we know today is that CAR T cell immunotherapy is a very potent form of treatment. And there is significant hope that um, this treatment will be effective and can potentially replace months and years of conventional treatment with chemotherapy. CAR T cells are particular because they are a living drug. There are cells that once they're infused into the patient's body, they amplify and they can persist for many weeks, potentially months, and make sure that all myeloma cells are being eliminated. These CAR T cells can also persist as so-called memory cells, because the memory feature is a critical feature of the immune system. And the hope is that they can stay around in the patient's body and also protect the patient from a relapse. So as it is a convention in medicine, um, new treatments have to be evaluated in clinical trials. So the, in the first phase of clinical development, uh, the main focus is on safety. So, and accordingly, in the, the first part of the clinical study, we will uh, do what we call a first-in-man application of the cell product in uh, myeloma patients um, and do a dose escalation. So we will use increasing doses of the cell product uh, to determine the safety and determine the dose of the cell product that can be administered safely to patients. Once this dose has been determined, then in the phase two component, we'll uh, change to focus on efficacy. So we'll then look how effective is the cell product in eliminating multiple myeloma cells. So we have started the Caramba project in January 2018. And we're working very hard with, with our full heart and full effort on it. 
and um, so far are on time with the timeline that we have predefined. And if we can keep this timeline, then um, this trial will open in the second half of 2019. As soon as the clinical trial um, uh, is opened, we'll of course communicate this through uh, our network and also the channels that Myeloma Patients Europe can offer. And in principle, uh, all patients in Europe are eligible. Of course, we will define certain criteria uh, to define the patient population um, that uh, can participate in the study. And typically, these are patients who have um, received all conventional and prior treatments, um, such that it is justified to now evaluate this new and experimental treatment.